Guys, official, me and Daniel, we're moving to Idaho. This place <laughs> is awesome. It's been insane so far. Started out throwing that jerk bait, smashing the smallies, picked up the X over, again, smashing them. You know, kind of natural progression. You know, jerk bait, kind of jerk bait, kind of crank bait. You know what would be next? Crank fast 2023, baby. I want to throw a crank bait, and I know you do, Corey. They're biting right now. You can see there's a front moving in. We got a variety of crankbaits. We're gonna go down and burn some bank, fish on these shallow points, some steep banks, some pockets. I don't know what we're gonna fish, but we're gonna cover some ground. It's gonna be crank fest, man. What do you say? Plenty of cranks. Get after it. Let's get them, bud. Let's do it, man. Oh! Hook up. First fish. First bass. First bass of crank fest 2023. <laughs> <laughs> the old CR8. Uh oh. And it's not the biggest of bass, but it is Crankfest 2023, and it was only cast number two or three. Three, I think, two or three. Little dude. More importantly, your cranks are landing in the water, or your cast, where mine were. Oh, you almost kind of just pulled a Cory there and went on the bank there too, but. Uh, dude, you pull a Cory, it's hard to do. Yeah, it's hard to be this good. Yeah, you know what? When you're casting up on the bank, you're trying to catch them squirrels and. Prairie dogs and everything but a bass. And I tried to cast out my backwash and I just made it worse. Fish. Little dude. CR again. Little CR8. Nice. Little dude. What do you call that color? This is a uh, oaky chartreuse here. It really looks like a, uh, a yellow perch to me, like a blue back yellow perch. It's got some bars on the side. Good color for smallmouth. There's actually a bunch of yellow perch in here also. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's more. You should have told me you would have been kept fishing for that all day and get I the know. greaser warmed up. Oh, oh, bro, shit. schooling. I think they landed on my fish. Yeah, they did. They ate my stuff on top. You got them, dude. Dude, I, I threw my bait. We're like, what is that? They came up and ate my crank off the top. <laughs> did I got a double? What's going oh, on Oh, dude, I just had one. You might have a double, man. Or a big one. No, I actually do sucker. realize I have to dress my drag yet either. But oh, man, look chunky, dude. <laughs> He's chunk. Hey, so you got the CR-10. Oh, shit. I got the CR-8, same color. Look, that was literally, I thought they were schooling. Yeah. <laughs> Your crankbait landed and the thing blew up on you it. You just smashed it right when it hit the water. That's a nice one, dude. Not the biggest, but chunky, dude. Bite was insane. <laughs> it was like a killer whale getting a seal on top, man. <laughs> that was so cool. Yeah, my drag was a little loose there. <laughs> Oh, chunky dude. He is fat. Fit. That was so cool, man. I looked over and saw that dude on the scope. CR8. No, you could, like, hey, bud, there's a fish on the scope over there. Yeah, there's just one lone. Oh, yeah, one, huh? One lonesome dove yeah, out there. <laughs> somehow, I kind of doubt Here, that. Here, Corey, I'm going to let you run it. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, it is Crankfest 2023, and I want to go over the CR crankbaits from Evergreen. This is a CR series. I was throwing the eight, Corey was throwing the 10. The only difference is one's going to be an eight foot diver, one's going to be a 10. So in the CR series, we have a CR6 up to a 16, both throwing the same color. You know, this bait really excels post spawn through the summer and through the fall. You know, I, I love this bait. It's got the weight transfer system. It casts really easy, but also the size of the bill, it gets down to the depths and it doesn't overwork you when you're throwing this thing all day. So awesome crankbait, you know, very versatile crankbait and a lot of sizes and colors to choose from. Got him. First one on Crankfest for me, I'll take it. Ah! Well, it's the second one, but the first one cranking it down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
First one was top water crank plug. Chunky little guy. There we go, Corey. These fish are healthy. Double. double first up. double oh. crank fest. Oh, come on. You just ruined it. Oh. You know what? Because you ruined it, I'm calling it a substitute. What's that? I think we're having so much fun here. We're running out of daylight. We've got what? Three videos on four done today? Yes. Poor Daniel's back here watching his fish all day. Daniel, put down the camera, pick up a rod, and join us in Craig Fest. Come on, Daniel. Daniel, 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 Daniel. 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 All right, you get the pick, Daniel, son. These are the fives. You don't have these in America, so. We will soon, Tackle. Here's around. Corey's. Here's another UG. Or you want this? I'll do, I'll do the craw. This dude? Yeah, the little red on there. Dude, Is that yeah, the high good, color? Good Why not? Boys, bro. Why not? Now you're thinking like a bass pro. <laughs> Wild hunch, dude. Bad zone. All right, I'm coming up. Coming Damn. Up. Oh, oh. oh hey, maybe he's not. Down. He's going back down, boys. Daniel's got his camera leg still. The old sea legs. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's check the drag. <laughs> so just hook set straight up, right? Dude, hook set to the right, hard sweeping right, dude. <laughs> oh, you want to get me? Oh, that's real cool. Uh, no, everyone better set straight up. I'm going left. Corey found a girlfriend over there. <laughs> oh, right at the boat. <laughs> dude, first cast of the hunch eight. Oh. Cody. Yes. This is the first time throwing this hunch eight. What's the story on this crank? Why? What's different? What's, what's good about it? What's cool about it? The, the wild hunch. All right. So the wild hunch is one of the most popular baits in Japan, literally. And yeah. the reason why is it's such a flat running crankbait. Uh -huh. and, and most of the people in Japan, they bank fish, right? Yeah. yeah. So oh. you're standing on the bank and you're casting out. You can't have something dig really far down. Uh -huh. So it's a really horizontal running bait. So it goes over stuff, structure. It's it's one of the number one crankbaits over there. The Wild Hunch 8, you know, I already talked about how this is one of the number one baits in Japan for good reason. You can see this really cool design, you know, this big wide lip, it narrows down, and because of the line tie, see where the, the line's gonna go on the lip of this. So most crankbaits, it's up towards the actual crankbait. This comes so far out, so it's extended way out. That makes that bait run really, really flat uh, and really horizontal. So like I say, guys from the bank can cast out, they can bring it up, it's gonna come up horizontally. Makes it a really cool crankbait. Awesome features here. The hook's gonna kinda just lay up on the body there. You're gonna have a really good hookup ratio, some awesome colors. You can see the one Daniel's thrown, you know, it's gonna have a painted lip. So it gives it a little bit bigger profile, a wide wobble, this bait's gonna hunt really good when you deflect off structure. Just a really, really cool crankbait, the Wild Hunch 8. Oh man, that sucker smoked it. Uh, what'd you get on there, buddy? A little CR8. Nice. Nice smallie. Hey, look at this CR8. Yeah, I think I got a dinker on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a little guy. Yeah. Oh, 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 farmed him. There's a lot of fish over here, huh? Yeah. Several fish down here, and then. Dude, there's some hell of good stuff up in this powder. There's one. Daniel. Daniel. Nice. What's that one on? It's on the dark uh, ghost crawl looking wild, wild, wild hunt. hunt. Nice. Daniel, Great. is this your first Idaho bass or what? Uh, yes. First Idaho bass. Yeah, dude. Nice. Sweet. Uh-oh. Oh, nice oh piccolo. Piccolo. <laughs> piccolo. Piccolo. Corey's cheating, dude. He puts on a little crankbait that everything will buy. <laughs> How's that cheating? It's crank fest. Hey. Ew. Choke. <laughs> Choke fest is what this is. Dude, choked, choked the piccolo, man. Oh my God. Let me get a shot of that for the old. Uh... Ah! Hey, 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 come on now. Dude, right on, man. Doked. Thanks for inviting me up. Yeah, it's about time, man. 
should we do tomorrow, Daniel? What do you think? Uh, I mean, filming you guys catch fish is really fun, but this might be slightly more fun. All right, so next is the little Piccolo. This is the PC5. This is about a five foot diving crankbait, and this thing you can see is so small. In fact, thrown on my Daiwa Tattoo Elite rod, this is my seven foot finesse rod with the new Tattoo LTMQ reel here. But you gotta throw this thing on a spinning rod, that eight to 10 pound test. Again, this is a very small profile crankbait, you can see. And you know what? This is fun to throw too. I'm throwing this little brim color. I love throwing it out there. You wind it by. When a fish bites this bait, it's definitely gonna get it. This is a bait you can throw for, for crappie, for bluegill, for, for whatever kind of game fish you're going after, and especially bass. This is a cool little limit getter, the Piccolo PC5. This uh, little Piccolo on your drop shot rod, dude, is money. It is, huh? Yeah. I feel like there's gonna be one on this cast. There is, but just not your cast. Just you gotta switch up baits on Crankfest. Yeah, keep you throwing the get same some crank. Money ass. Yep. Uh oh. There we go. Daniel called it. Oh, what do we got here? Little guy. Dude, let me see that piccolo real quick, Corey. You get your own piccolo. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like tying one on. All right. I just want to wind a spinning rod. <laughs> Picking up the piccolo. Piccolo. Probably switch the GoPro angle a little bit, huh? Hmm. I want to catch a great big one on this thing. Like, you know they're going to bite this peak. Oh, this thing's got a tag on her, dude. What does that mean? So, check this out, man. Little piccolo bass. But check this out. The, the state will tag this thing, and you're supposed to. I don't know what, do you take it out? No, take a picture and call it. Can you read all the Idaho FP history? Dude, I bet you just pull it, no? I think you no, take no, it out. No, Pretty no. sure. They want, they, want, they want to keep getting more information on it. Quit moving. I'm not, dude, the boat's moving. Daniel, God <laughs> Dude, seriously, for two seconds, please stop. Get her? Yep. Smoked on this cast. <laughs> I really said that. <laughs> First cast on the flat force and the one and only chartreuse and blue. I think they, whoa, hey. Cody told me to catch one on the flat force, so he swung the boat out. That's oh, great. that's my favorite crankbait ever. So I'm just gonna go over here, back door one. Told you. You can try to backseat me there, buddy. I'm not backseat. Yeah, you just, you I was freaking, going down the back. I'm throwing a little shallow flat force, and what did you do? He pulls me out in the deep water again. So I'll just catch this donkey. Donkey. <laughs> donkey. Oh, come on, you're gonna hook me. All right, All right Daniel. Daniel just goes winging up there. So Corey got a little bit sneaky, right? So we're out sitting out there fishing that you know, really that five to 15 foot uh, depth range. And he picks up the little flat force. This is a awesome, awesome uh, little square barrel, little flat sided crankbait. This is my favorite evergreen crankbait. Love this thing, it's got a circuit board lip. Again, it's a little flat sided crankbait. So it's real flat. And this thing is unbelievable in structure. I, you could put this thing in four wheel drive, take it over rocks, wood, um, it just, it's caught so many fish for me over the last couple years, a variety of colors. And again, this is a perfect little shallow crankbait that he was cranking around catching fish. I haven't thrown this bait yet today, but he's caught them. This is his favorite color, the chartreuse blue, but I believe Evergreen has 16 different colors of this bait available. So check this thing out. This is one of my favorites. Again, the Flat Force by Evergreen. Nice, dude. So what's what I haven't caught one on yet? 
Oh! Oh! <laughs> yeah, look at that, on top of the head, too. <laughs> Bro, it's crank fest, not <laughs> Crank fest is going off. Oh my. Back to back calf, Cody? <laughs> yeah, dude. Park it. Yeah, come on. I might need something brighter. You yeah. guys are getting more bites than me. I told yeah, you, dude. Well, you're the one that, oh, you guys want the Ugg Fest. Yeah. I like, don't switch, you guys are crazy. Keep on no, ugly keep one. Dude, this I'll, thing I'll is, grab a, I'll bro, grab. you gotta throw there's, this There's thing. plenty of baits down here. Dude, this thing is so much fun, dude. Oh, on the spinning rod? Yeah, why not, sure. dude? What is this one? The CR8. Yeah, throw that. Oh, dude, that thing straight up stalled you out court. Damn it. Oh. You saw that? Dude, it straight up stalled <laughs> you out. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> First cast with Daniel on the CR8. CR nice. Just needed a little brighter color. Dude, I told you the bright, the fuglies, man. The, ug the uglies you can get. Crank fest. I don't want to show you guys up. Dude, hey, we need an idle over there. Over where? Down that other side. Oh yeah, flat bank. Yeah. Because it stops getting good down here. You sure? I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm just, on. Maybe we just keep banging these things. Well, I see we, if we dude, this them. lake is ridiculous, man. <laughs> dude, bro, what did I tell you? Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Brown town? <laughs> oh, dude, yours is way bigger, dude. Show the camera. <laughs> Bro. So I'm throwing a shallow crank at 26 foot of water here. <laughs> They're just coming up. Yeah. Hey. Just coming up. There what, what I told you guys about this place, what did I say, dude? Smash. The smash fest, dude. Yeah. All right, last but not least, the Zurch. One of my favorite crankbaits. It's got a really cool little lip, kind of a coffin blade lip. And what that does when it's grinded down off a of structure, it's gonna deflect structure, rocks, wood, really, really well. So it's pretty cool. You can see how the hook lays too flat on the body. This one will have a lot of room to kind of come up here and they're not gonna tangle up. So you could put a bigger hook on here. They're not gonna snag up. Really good hookup ratio. Some awesome colors as well too. And hey, it's Crankfest, so why not throw this? What a great time out here. Some awesome crankbaits. Check this one out. This is the Evergreen Zurch. Cold. You've been in Idaho too long if you're cold. Oh, fish. Oh! <laughs> Dude, I, I threw that shallow, shallow rock. Like, oh, don't hang up. I was like trying to crawl it over it, and he smoked it off the rock. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. <laughs> Corey, dude, this is a cool place, huh? Yeah. My little man, Crank Fest, continues. I'm gonna back off that rock again for fun. Get the waterfall bass? They don't go chasing waterfalls. First CD I ever had. Really, TLC? Yeah, I had to share it with my brother. Should we go in there? Is that even a question? I want to chase a waterfall. Well, like you said, you should listen to TLC, huh? Yeah, don't go. <laughs> TLC knew what they were talking about. Hopefully we have the crank fest here. We got some storms coming. Hope we can outrun it. We can outrun it. Man, if, it was, if the wind was blowing, think a spearbait bite would work, huh? Yeah. Corey wants to go smash a couple more bangers, dude. There we go. What's that? He's had his fun. <laughs> we gotta tag it out. We'll go to the main point and we'll tag her out. I guarantee it will take a bite there. <laughs> Let's go, boys! <laughs> okay, camera up. Are we live? <laughs> I can feel the jerkbait in my ass, I know. Corey's on. 
But I, I, didn't, I couldn't take the time to pull the trick made out. You said first fish. Whatever. <laughs> Crankfest! Oh! Crankfest! I think Crankfest might have to be cut a little short. As you can see, uh, the weather is upon us here, bud. Oh! <laughs> hey, what better way to end it right here? Crankfest being cut short, guys. The weather's coming. Dude, we gotta get out of here before we get stuck. It's been a great time. A lot of cool crankbaits you guys from Evergreen. Make sure to check them all out. You guys enjoy this vlog. Give us a like, give us a share. Tag your buddies. And don't forget, end their good giveaway. And check back next week for more action from Idaho. See you, boys. <laughs>